Do you hire a bodyguard yet? Yeah, I call him uh, I call him a Sig P365. <clears throat> This would go really well with your blue hair. I I understand what you're saying, but it brown looks better here. Oh, there's another cuck thing too. Is it like, I think brown is actually a really good color. It's boring for me and I like exciting strong colors, but th these types of like browns, I don't know what it is about that. Like um, these pastel colors or these, not it wouldn't even be pastel. It's this color palette of like brown's really good, but like the hair is really important here for this outfit. If this guy had blue hair, I think this blue shirt would look fucking horrible. Um, this, it just, it works, it it, wor it fits this color palette really well. Having like a really strong blue on top of like nice light browns and then a skin color Destiny, and then his hair this works is really well, I, I haven't performed, can I get an unbanned Blestiny? I don't know, maybe. Do you think you could rock a deep V like that? Um, deep V, wait, I didn't even look. This isn't a deep V, this is probably no t-shirt, right? He's just got his top I feel like I may be a bit too much of a boomer to follow this convo law. I think that um, a brown belt with brown boots and a darker flannel would look better. Um, I was trying to find the problem. It's it's very hard to match a lot of dark colors, um, and my hair makes it really hard to color coordinate with dark things. What I wanted to find, I couldn't find one down here. I wanted to find like a light, like charcoal blue or charcoal gray flannel. I think that would have complemented my hair color and everything well. But it's really, really, really hard to find. It's hard to color coordinate any solid colors or any strong colors with my hair. The hair makes it like really difficult to do. Just monocolor. I thought about a monocolor top too, but I kind of wanted to rock the lumberjack look. I wanted that flannel. I had ex more extreme flannel shirts that I could have used, but I didn't. Um, it, it, was, it was just way too contrasty with my fucking, with my hair. It was insane. Um, I look like a, this is like dad, this is like lumberjack dad flannel. Would have been, it would have been this shirt. Um, what would have been this shirt? But color coordinating with the hair is just wild. It's just too much. But I was trying to do the full, the full lumberjack. But I think if I could have, if I could have found a flannel on like light blue or like grayish, I think it would have matched. I think a light blue or grayish flannel that was open, I think with a white t-shirt would have outfit matched kind of well, I think. But once this, but also once my hair grows out, it'll be okay. Get black boots. I like those red wings. I think those red wing boots are fucking sick. Uh, I'm glad I went with them over the Timberlands. Some dude emailed me and he was like, listen, there's some underground boots that aren't that underground, but they're the sickest ones. Fuck the Timberlands and get that red wing shit. And hell yeah, those red wing boots are badass. Although something else I should probably consider too is, and I've never really considered it before, but Fashion is also probably somewhat geographic. I probably should have considered that. I think I unironically should have went with some Air Force like threes or Air Force ones for the no jumper shit because it would have made more sense in that geography. I think that the outfit I have works really well. If I do like a change my mind event at, like like Texas, I think it would be fucking ballin'. But I don't know if it works as well like on a hip hop set where because Adam is legitimately Adam was actually wearing sweatpants right where he's like in sweats and like a hoodie so it's like very casual and then I'm like casual like Western fucking. Cowboy. You're always on the Angry Man panel. Can I get your email? Make me an Islam and FD. Red wings are dope. I just think blue jeans are out of fashion. I don't know if jeans are ever out of fashion. Um, sometimes you get into differences for like how tight the jeans are, especially on the bottom. But like, I think that like, I think roughly speaking, like cuffed jeans are like always okay. Like, I don't think it's ever gonna be like, oh my God, nobody's wearing jeans cuffs anymore. Like, I don't think it ever gets that extreme. Like it might not be like the most fashionable thing, but I don't think it's ever gonna be like horrible, you know? You look sick in black jeans. Um, I think black jeans are difficult because I don't think black jeans translate to the camera well. There was a time on one of those shows where I actually I wore black jeans, but you guys thought I was in sweatpants. Um, unironically, Envy, thanks for two for subbing. Um, I, I don't know black jeans. It's a hard it's a hard texture to see on camera. I don't think it carries over to camera very well. Maybe in um, yeah. Jeans are out of fashion for people that are into fashion. Yeah, maybe, but I'm not trying to be like a fashionista. Also, it's funny because like when you guys give opinions on fashion, um, you have you all of you have completely conflicting opinions on everything. So I mean, like, it's not like I could like look to chat for it. I think you just have to try clothes on, see how they look, and then keep going. Jeans have it too. I don't know. Having to roll them up looks kind of cringe. Um, 
I, I used to agree. I feel like rolling up anything looks really cringe, but I started watching some fashion channels, started looking at like how people dress. And I think for some reason, rolled up cuffed jeans grew on me a little bit and rolled up dress shirts um, grew on me a little bit too. Like I actually think that wearing a, dre wearing a dress shirt, um, slacks and a belt, and then having like a rolled up sleeves and a dress shirt, I think actually looks pretty nice. I don't know why, but it, it grew on me a little bit too. So I think that, um, I, I don't know, people do it with shorts and people do it with jeans and I think it's probably okay. There are there are better jeans though to cuff, and there are better dress shirts to cuff. Um, if you have a difference, I think the OP cuffing on jeans is sometimes jeans will have different patterns inside the lining, and that's where like especially there's like because on some jeans you have like a straight line like running on the inside with like a texture or like a different pattern, and cuffing that looks cool because then you get a little bit of contrast in your outfit too. Same thing with cuffing like dress shirts. Sometimes there'll be different textures or patterns on the inside of the cuff sometimes, and you get like a little bit more texture um, and, and interest I guess on in the in whatever the fuck you're wearing if you want. You get to be like half casual while still wearing dress clothes? Yeah, basically, yeah. <clears throat> For some reason, designer brand shirts are really bad, but I love denim and I can't go back to regular shit after trying on some Destiny cuts. I don't know what that means. I, th I legitimately, maybe my opinion will change on this as I get more into clothes, but like, I I'm not like fashion retarded. I usually just don't give a fuck. Like I can tell some basics. Fuck Smith and Wesson. But I feel like for, um, boys hold on. I feel like for designer brands, I feel like the only reason people wear designer brands is to let people know how much money they have. I think most of it looks like shit. I don't think it looks very good. And I think it's just to signal to other people how much money you have. I still feel that way. Maybe I'll feel differently in the in the future, but I don't, I don't know. I don't like designer shit is just cringe for fucking insecure losers. Fuck Smith and Wesson, proud boy supporting fucks based. <clears throat> the only thing I will say might look nice is I feel like as much as I hate them, I think that if you want to wear a nice three piece, I think for a man, I think you need a watch. I hate to say it, but I think you do. I think if you have a nice three piece on, if you have a nice suit on, I think you need a watch. You need a nice watch. Not like a $20,000 watch, but like, a, like a nice watch, it's probably it's probably important. But <clears throat> Apple Watch is fine. Maybe if you buy like um, you can buy those and get like different um, different bands or different straps for them if you want. But yeah, I don't know. Or a pocket watch, F fuck a pocket watch. Unless you can you make it like hang out of your pocket. I don't know. Do you weigh yourself often for fitness things? Oh, yeah, I weigh myself every day. Of course. I don't want to ever let my weight get like out of control or whatever. I'm always between like 165 and 170s. It just depends on, you usually weigh um, like a pound or two less in the morning than you do at night, depending on how much you're drinking, how much you're eating, everything else going on, but. Just weigh yourself every week. Doing it every day is just a waste of time. No, you have to do it every day without like letting it mentally fuck you. The problem with weighing yourself once a week is that like you can miss some of the variances of your natural weight and then you could end up like missing like gains or losses in your weight if you're not careful, I think. I think it's just weigh yourself every day, but don't like, I think you should weigh yourself at the same, every day, same time of the day, same time in your bathroom habits. So like if you wake up in the morning and you pee every morning, then you wake up, you pee while you're naked, you weigh yourself afterwards. Like just get in the habit of weighing yourself around the same, um, Oh my God, is there a Pfizer jacket? <gasps> Holy shit, this, I need more fashionable joggers and like some Air Force Ones. Would be fucking based. How triggered. <laughs> and then like a fucking arm, I need to get some kind of arm thing for my, like I just got a shot. Oh my God, dude, I want that Pfizer drip and it matches my fucking hair. You're just wrong, but you do you? How am I wrong? I'm objectively right. How are more data points ever bad, right? Like, here's my issue. Like, let's say one day we weigh, um, let's say we weigh 165. Let's say we weigh ourselves the next day. Let's say that we're like 163. Um, let's say the next day we're 164. Let's say the next day, uh, we eat a lot. We didn't go poop yet, 167. Um, let's say the next day we're 166. Let's say the next day we're 167. Maybe the next day we're 167. Maybe we go up to like 168. Um, let's say that we we carry this trend a little bit. Let's say we're like gaining a little bit. This is like pretty fast, right? We'll say we're 169. Um, then let's say we have like a small day and we're like 160 um, or like 167, right? 
if we take like just two data points here, like what if I weigh myself at 163 and 169? I might think like, oh my God, I've gained six pounds in like two weeks, which is a possible swing. You could swing that much in two weeks, depending on how dehydrated you are, or depending on how much you've eaten recently. Like, I like it would be crazy. Like, holy shit, what's going on here? Whereas if I'm weighing myself consistently over time, it's like, okay, I'm kind of like steadily gaining, I, you know, different times of the day, different things happen. Like, I think it's just better to have more data for your weight. But just, but don't like freak out if you gain like two pounds in a day because you're like more hydrated one day than the next, or you know you're saving up a big dookie or some shit. You know. What's your thoughts on having cheat days? In my personal bullshit, um, you know, take whatever I say for granted thing. Um, dot cheat days fundamentally are fucked, and they're the it's the worst idea of anything ever. I don't think you should ever have cheat days in diets. I think that. When, the problem with having a cheat day, it implies that the food that you're eating on a day-to-day -day basis is fucking dog shit. And I, I feel like there are plenty of ways to eat healthy that taste like really good and are fun and are cool. You just have to be like a little bit more mindful of it. Um, that that's Yeah, that's what I would say, but I don't know. I mean, take it for as, as you would have. But it feels like when I hear people say cheat days, like it feels like um, cheat days just, it feels like your normal dad is miserable. Also. I could be wrong. I don't know if there's like a maximum amount of like calories you can absorb in a single session. Um, but I feel like I'm pretty sure I could wipe out an entire week in one cheat day. I think, um, unless unless you can't absorb that many calories. Like, so like let's say that you're let's say that you're shooting for um, let's say that you burn 2,300 calories a day. Let's say that you're trying to lose weight, so you're on an 1800 calorie a day cut. Let's say you adhere strictly to that. My DC is a Glock 45 with a Trigic and SRO. It's nice. an absolute game changer. Nice. Um, 1800 calories a day, and then on Saturday you say, fuck it, I'm gonna have a cheat day. I feel like in one day, I feel like you could eat an extra 2000 calories, right? And if you eat an extra 2000 calories, you've wiped away four days of, four days of dieting. Four days of dieting gone in one meal. So you suffered for four days of misery to wipe it out with one meal, with three slices of cheesecake, with a pizza, with too much shit that you probably shouldn't have had. Like, why, why do that? Don't do that, right? You don't want to fuck your shit up that way. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, what kind of pie was this? Can you tell us real quick? My guess was it was like a linguine pasta lasagna pie. And I think chat said, oh, it's fudge and coconut. I don't trust anybody. I think that, um, Jesus. Um, yeah, welcome to the Orbiter's Club, I'm just kidding. I think the people that eat coconut are sociopaths. I just don't, it's just like, it's so weird on so many different levels. Um, I, I just, I wouldn't trust it. I wouldn't trust anybody that says they like coconut. Like I think if you run into somebody and they say they like coconut, I think that you have to um, proceed with caution. That's what I would tell you guys, just as a heads up. Life advice for me, okay? 34, I've been around the block a few times. People that like coconut are just off. Zerka meeting Flacco. Earlier in talk. Zerka! Yo, listen, man. Right now. <laughs> listen, man. Like a huge fan of listen. Boys. How's it going, man? I'm just glad, right, that Adam finally listens to me. You feel me, man? I bet telling Adam, listen, Zerka. You put me on. Of course, right? You put me on. You're the dude texting me? Can no, we get no, court no, here no, too? Guilty. No, it's not the dude. It was guilty was the guy that texted him. Yeah, right? That Can we get guilty. court in here too? That was guilty. I'd like to right? introduce you. Oh, guilty as props. Who? Court. Who's court? Damn, look at this dude's outfit. This guy's balling today. He looks like the godfather. The hardcore No Jumper fans will remember him from some prior episodes. This Yuri guy seems like, oh, this Yuri guy? Captain Cuck over here? Yeah, he's a fucking piece of shit. I hope I don't forget him because I never want to share a stage or a show with this guy fucking ever. Actual fucking mo- Wait. Are, are we allowed to say mongoloid anymore? Is that a racist s No, he's a fucking loser. Listen up, right? But though, I told Adam, bro, Zerka <laughs> is one. Wait, mongoloid. Old fashioned term for a person with Down syndrome. I feel like mongoloid is like a people from like East Asia. It was a word for, yeah, I don't know. Okay, never mind. Fuck, they're taking so many words. 
from us. He's like entertaining as fuck, and he's one of like the like he's one of him's. So I'm just glad that man finally, bro, we finally got one of the you know like the four thinkers of, of like this generation. He's man. a new Andrew Tate, they say. Yes, he said that. Yeah, I've been doing this before Andrew Tate, yeah, but I've watched your podcast. So I like, I like the podcast, yeah. but it is stoner energy. We need to go get in this fucking. Game. Nah, that's a fact, man. Nah. True.